Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about hair. I've had quite a lot of comments um, on Instagram and Twitter and videos since I started playing around with the colour in my hair in July um, to make a video about it and tell you kind of what I've done to my hair to make it pink um, or to also get the pink, blue and purple kind of ombre dip dye kind of look that I had back in July. So this video is going to be how I got the colour, um, what I've been using to help maintain the colour and the styling products and tools that I've been using as well to kind of make the most of having a fun colour in your hair whilst not like making it look too Barbie doll, if that makes sense. So I've always, always loved colour since I was a little girl, like bright pink, bright blue, bright purple. Um, and when I was 17, I actually first started experimenting with bright colours in my hair. I used to have pink and purple streaks. And I carried on doing that for a few years, actually. I really loved it. Um, I just used to do it at home, <laughs> slightly messily, but um, I absolutely loved it. And I got in trouble at school for it. And I had um, a pink dip dye a few years ago. If you guys have been watching YouTube for a while, you might remember that. I've also played around with um, hair chalks as well, which I love, but they wash out, so it's kind of a frustrating thing to have to do like all the time. It's like a one-off thing for me. So I really wanted to do something new and fun to my hair, but I've always been too scared to do anything too permanent or that potentially might damage um, the colour that I have at the moment, because obviously if you are blonde, you, you might know, maintaining blonde hair if you're not a natural blonde is quite hard, and the last thing you want to do is put a colour on it and then get bored of it a couple of weeks later and want to try and get rid of it and you can't get rid of it. That's like the ultimate nightmare for me um, is basically messing up my hair, especially because it's very, very long um, and I do keep it in very good condition as well. Um, I put a lot of masks on it and stuff like that. So um, yeah, destroying my hair is like the last, last thing I wanted. So Wella actually invited me to try out one of their new products, which is called Instamatic by Colour Touch, whilst I was out in LA for VidCon in July. I think it was July, the very, very beginning of July, maybe even the first or the second of July. Um, and I tried it out and I absolutely loved it because it looked really fun and cool. I actually had pink at the top, then blue, and then purple. And it, it never translates onto camera as much as it does in real life, especially when you have like multicolored, because it honestly, in real life, I just absolutely loved it and what I really loved is that it washed out and my hair went back to normal. Um, it didn't ruin my blonde hair so I was really really keen to try it again when I got back here. Um, it wasn't actually out here when I tried it um, in the States so it's just launched in the UK and I got the chance to go and have it done again but all pink this time um, and I absolutely love it. It's basically um, a real kind of subtle wash of colour. It's designed especially to go on blonde hair and inspired by um, Instagram filters, so to give you that like almost a little touch of something, but not like really, really bright, if you see what I mean. Um, and I wanted to go all pink. It's been something I've wanted to do for a while is going all pink, because um, again, in terms of like dyeing your hair different tones, this is something I've experienced all the way through in terms of me putting streaks in my hair, all that kind of thing, is that purple always fades faster than pink. So partly I wanted it all to fade really kind of um, uniformly, so all together, but also I want it to last a bit longer. And this is about four washes in. So it's a salon product, you have to have it done in salon, but what's also really cool is that you can get your highlights done first, which is what I did this time. I actually went to um, a really lovely guy called Josh Wood, and he has a salon in Holland Park in London. I'll put all the info um, of where I got my hair done in the info bar below if anyone wants to check it out if you're in that area. Um, but basically, he put some highlights in my hair first, and then put the colour on so that the highlights not only pick up the colour a little bit more, if you can see at the top there, like you can see where the highlights work because they've kind of absorbed the colour a bit more, but also once the colour washes out, I'm still going to have those highlights. So um, it's kind of killing two birds with one stone for me, um, which I was really excited about. And this is, like I said, four washes in, I think, and it's this is my favourite colour that it's been so far because it's still pink, but it's not like bright, bright pink like it was in the beginning. It wasn't, it was never bright, bright pink, but it was definitely a lot more vibrant. Whereas this is just a real kind of sheer wash of color. Um, and I really, really love it. So moving on to how I um, keep the color in my hair. So I'm still using a lot of the products that I spoke about in my last hair video, which was about volumizing. So I'll link that below if you guys want to check out those products if you're interested in volume um, and not so much color. But I'm also using a shampoo and conditioner that are specially designed for keeping color in your hair. There are loads of them on the market, um, but the ones that I've been using were recommended when I had my hair done and I've kind of been sticking to them. The shampoo is 
the Brilliance line from Weller Professionals. It's for thick, coarse hair and it's specially designed to um, keep your colour looking like nicer for longer. So I've been using this to kind of keep the colour in, but then I've also been using the Colour Recharge Conditioner in red. Now that might sound scary, especially for someone that has been blonde pretty much her whole life. Um, I am like scared of anything that's like full red hair, because you're like, oh my god, what if my hair turns red? But basically, pink dye is like a red pigment, so um, putting this on pink hair basically gives the pink a little bit of a refresh and also stops it fading so quickly. So I've actually really been liking using this and what is nice about this one is that it really feels nice on your hair because I find a lot of the time with products that are designed for something really specific like colour or dandruff or something like that, that they might not actually make your hair look and feel really nice at the same time but this does. So I've been using those and they've been working really nicely. And then basically the main thing I do to try and keep the colour in my hair for as long as possible is to not wash it. And I know that sounds gross, but basically I try and limit the amount of times I wash my hair to twice a week. So that's three to four days um, between each wash. And usually what I do is day one I'll um, wash shampoo and then I'll put in a leave-in conditioner and then I'll rough dry it um, and not put any other product in it. So that's what I've done today. This is basically just um, rough dried kind of natural hair. And I'll leave that for day one. On day two I'll pop a little bit of dry shampoo in and the dry shampoo that I've been using is from Fudge Urban which is the crisp pear and sweet vanilla dry shampoo. This is cheap, it's only, it's usually on like half price offer or something, but it's only a couple of pounds um, and you can pick it up in Superdrug. But um, what I really like about this is not too heavy, some dry shampoos are really heavy and they make your hair feel like they've got a lot of gross kind of powder in them and you basically need to wash your hair the day after. Um, well I do anyway because it just makes me feel all gross but this is really light so I pop a little bit of this in the roots and then I'll straighten it on day two and then on day three I usually curl it because by then the kind of straightness is it started looking a little bit limp and the curler I've been using is this one from Babyliss which is the um, Babyliss Boutique 34 millimeter wand and what I really like about using a bigger wand to curl your hair is that it makes, it gives it like really kind of natural, uneven, kind of glamorous waves. What you don't want when you have pink hair is to basically have ringlets and look like a Barbie doll. So um, this has been really good for that and I also really like this one because it's quite long. Um, it means you can fit all of your hair like around the barrel, whereas because I have quite long hair, some of them you have to like squish your hair up and it's just um, a bit of a pain. So I've been really liking that. And then basically on the fourth day, I bung it up into a top knot or a ponytail or something and just get it out of the way. And I always try and um, coincide that day with kind of like an admin day at home or a weekend or somewhere I'm like I'm not going out. A day that I'm not doing anything like super nice and I don't want really nice hair, I'll just bung it up and then the next day wash it again. So that is my um, little routine for keeping my hair pink. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to throw into this video. Um, any more questions you have, please let me know and um, I'll try and answer them in the comment section below. I'm going to put any links to all the products um, and like names of the dye and the salon, all that kind of stuff that I've spoken about, I'll put in the comment section below as well. And that is it for this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you all. I've done quite a lot of online shopping over the past few weeks, um, as I always do.